Hello there and welcome to the June 2019 paper. Here we're looking at question 13. Figure 3 shows a sketch of part of the curve with equation y equals 2x cubed minus 17x squared plus 40x. The curve has a minimum turning point at x equals k as shown in the diagram. The region R shaded uh, in figure 3, so it's this region here R, is bounded by the curve, the x-axis and the line with equation x equals k. Show that the area of R is 256 over 3. Let's first of all find the minimum points. The minimum points will be found by some differentiation. So first of all, dy by dx equals 6x squared minus 34x plus 40 equals 0. So let's now um, divide by 2. So we get 3x squared minus 17x plus 20 equals 0. Let's now factorize 3x and x. And if we factorize this, we're going to get um, x minus 4, 3x minus 5. Uh, so let's just check that out. So it's going to be um, minus 5 and then minus 12. So that would be minus 17. Good. So therefore, x equals 5 over 3 or x equals 4 are going to be the turning points. We can see here that, minus, that this lower one will refer to this maximum point and the 4 will refer to this minimum point here. So therefore, as 4 is bigger... It is the minimum turning point. Okay, so now we know that uh, k is equal to 4. Okay, so now that we know that k is equal to 4, let's now find the area by integrating. So it's going to be the integral from 4 to 0 of 2x cubed minus 17x squared plus 40x uh, dx. So let's now integrate. You're increasing the power by 1 and then dividing by the new power. So it's going to be 3 increases to a 4, and then 2 divided by 4 is a half. Minus uh, 2 increases to a 3, and then divide by the 3, that would be 17 over 3. And then increase the power by 1, that would be x squared, divide by the new power, 40 divided by 2 is 20. That will be in between the boundary of 4 and 0. So let's now substitute 4 in and then substitute 0 in. So it's going to be half of 4 to the power of 4 minus 17 over 3 times 4 to the power of 3 plus 20 um, times 4 to the power of 2 minus and then substituting 0 in will just give you 0. So let's now work out each of these individually, and then we'll show that it all uh, sums together to give us 256 over 3. So the first bit is going to be 128 minus 4 cubed times 17 over 3. That will give us 1088 over 3, and then plus 16 times 20 that will give us 320. So now let's add all these bits together. 128 add the fraction, so minus the fraction, 1088 over 3, and then add 320. And that gives us, yes, 256 over 3. And there we are. That's the answer for question 13. There's seven marks for that one, so differentiation and integration needed in that question. So quite a little tough one, that one. Seven marks. Let's now move on to question 14.